so I don't know why there's always something creepy following me it's like the dark forces of hell are always following me everywhere let me tell you what I mean the shadow person the first story happened in Nicaragua when I was like five years old around my home we had more vegetation around than buildings and by vegetation I mean trees there were a lot of trees okay just so that you guys can imagine why everything was like one of those scary haunted like wood stories okay this all seemed like it okay trust me it makes sense so one night around 8 p.m. because that was my bedtime for some reason my sister was being allowed to be awake at that time. I was really tired so I told my great grandma that I was gonna go to sleep. So I put it like this, my bed was by the window where the light from the living room would light my side of the bed. On the other side of the room it was all dark. As I was about to close my eyes while facing the dark side of the room, I had this feeling that I was being watched. So I quickly opened my eyes wide open. I look around the room and to my surprise there's someone laying on my great grandma's bed which so happens to be on the dark side of the room because there's a wall block in the light. Everything was quiet in the room. I didn't move. I didn't speak. But something was telling me that I must keep my eyes open and keep watching whatever was looking back at me because at some point if I stopped looking and went to sleep I might never wake up again so I just kept staring I remember that I couldn't really make out what it looked like exactly but I could see its orangey red eyes and the silhouette of a tall muscular naked man have in mind that I was tired and it was dark I wanted to believe that it was all part of my imagination until my little sister came into the room. She thought she was talking to my great grandmother. Then suddenly she poked him in the eye with her finger. She quickly apologized and ran away scared because she thought she was going to get yelled at. That was the moment that I completely realized that the whole time I really wasn't alone in the room. I realized that my life really was in danger. I was calm no more. The whole time I had been calm and was keeping my cool. But the moment she poked him and apologized is when I realized that that thing was after me after all. Cause it could have gotten my sister since she was only three years old. Easy prey, but no. It wanted me. Me. So what do I do? I start talking to it. Like girl. Why? I don't know what came over me that made me tell this creature that my sister was going to come back and ask them. Why are you here? What do you want? Are you after me? I was so stupid. After my sister left the room, I heard something else. My sister saw my great grandma and asked her while she was about to cry in a scared voice. Abwe, if you're here, then who's in the room with Nubia? I realized they were going to walk right into the room and see him too, but I was wrong. They did run to the room, but my great grandma quickly turned on the light. And there was nothing on the bed. Horrible. Only a horrible smell of manure was left behind. Nothing else. I immediately got up and ran and hugged her. Because I was so glad she came to save me. I was so scared that I started to cry. After that night, my family decided that it was the best to never go to sleep before everyone and that we were all going to sleep at the same time so if I was tired at 7 p.m. we were all going to bed at 7 p.m. nobody gets to stay by themselves at night 
Okay, guys. I know that there's a lot of people that don't believe in ghosts, mythical creatures, or demons being real. But I strongly believe that they're real because look at the evidence. When you've never met a demon or a ghost, you don't believe they're real. They're as real as the Little Mermaid. But when you actually experience it, oh boy, you best believe you're going to be a believer. <laughs> the story I just told you is 100% true and it happened to me when I was like a little kid, maybe like 5-6 years old. My sister, she doesn't remember anything that happened and she always gets mad at me whenever I bring it up. But I'm like, you gotta, like, you gotta understand me, like, like, how do you not remember it? You're the one that poked him in the eye. So, there's no exaggeration whatsoever. Everything that I just said is exactly how it happened. Look, if you've ever been haunted by a ghost, a demon, or a freaking elf, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your stories. Maybe someone has experienced something similar to you or to me. You never know. So with that said, I'll see you later and happy Halloween. Bye.